today was Mr. and Mrs. Brown's last class at Kindle University. Many students gave them flowers and shared words of appreciation. After a teary welcome, Mrs. Brown began the class on sources of website traffic. Mrs. Brown started the class by stating how a website with no traffic is equivalent to a city with no people, a house with no roads leading to it, a body with no blood and so on. This indicates that your website is doomed to fail in terms of lead generation and revenue creation. Many organizations focus solely on appearance and user experience of their website without considering how their ideal consumer would find it. If you are ready to start producing hot leads, it's time to dig into the big specifics of your website traffic sources. Understanding the origins of your website traffic is a crucial component of any marketing strategy. Let's break down six main sorts of website traffic sources so you can make educated marketing judgments on where your website traffic is performing best and where there are gaps which is existing. Let us look at the different types of website traffic sources. First, we have the organic traffic. The traffic that came to your site from someone who found it through a search engine is organic. The fundamental goal of inbound marketing is to enhance the organic website traffic. Then we have direct traffic. Direct traffic is defined as traffic to your website that does not come from any other source. There is no referrer for direct visitors for your website. This signifies that a visitor reached your website address by simply putting it into the address bar and was not routed through any other links on the internet. Let us talk about referrals. Another method for people to find your website uh, that refers them to you. This is known as the backlink. Since the link that the user clicks on the leads back to your website. This form of traffic is far more useful to your SEO ranking than the direct traffic, which does not influence at all. Next, we have is the paid search. Paid traffic is the polar opposite of organic traffic. Paid versus organic search has both advantages and disadvantages. Paid media is derived from pay-per-click advertising. It is the consequence of paid advertising using Google AdWords, a popular PPC ad management tool, or another paid search platform in which you pay a network every time your ad gets clicked. Do you know what email marketing is? We expect that when you send emails or run an email marketing campaign, you include links that connect back to your website, such as clear call to action or a link to a relevant blog post. Driving blog subscriptions is a key aspect of the lead nurturing process. When people receive an email informing them that you have a new post or article ready for reading, they are more likely to visit your website and read it. Lastly, we will talk about social media. Your traffic will increase as your following rises. That is not to say that you should not publish if you do not have any followers. Sharing material as well as links to information on your website will assist you in growing your followings. The purpose of social media is to establish and participate with your community, not to simply have a social presence. Diversifying traffic sources is something that smart marketers do. 
It's dangerous to rely too much on a single source of traffic, especially search and social. We have little influence over what major technology corporations do with their algorithms. With that, Mr. and Mrs. Brown ended the class and had a hearty goodbye with the students who were really close to them.